today is Friday. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, you have made it to Friday. You and your teachers and your precious uh, moms, dads, aunts, grandparents, whomever is helping you um, with virtual learning, uh, you have made it. Um, and it's not just a regular Friday. You know what today is. Today is the day before fall break. Boys and girls, after today, you have 10 whole days to yourself. It's amazing. I hope you have a fabulous break. Uh, before we go on break, I want to talk to you this morning about being sick. Nobody likes being sick. Nobody likes having to lay around and um, miss out on fun things. In fact, I know this firsthand because I've been really sick the last two weeks. This is what I have felt like. I am not even joking around with you. This little guy with his eyes and his poor little mouth and his even his slippers look like they're sad. And that would be Miss Ridgeway. And I'm okay. I'm not I'm not super sick. I'm gonna be just fine. But I, I bring this up to you, boys and girls, because sometimes when we are sick, we have to stay home. There are some things that are going on with us that could get other people sick. And that is not a good, kind way to treat people. And at Hollydale, we want to make sure that we look for some key things in the morning to make sure that we are healthy and able to come to school. So check out this video with Mrs. Barber and Mrs. Jones to find out more information. All right, so guys, if you are feeling under the weather, not feeling great at school, there are we do have our nurse, our clinic is, is available for you. You'll just need to let your teacher know and she will help you determine if that's a place for you to go. If it's not a place and if it's something small like a cut or a scratch, what else could we do, Miss Jones? Wow, well, I think the teachers are going to have an ouchie bag. So if you have a cut or a scrape, or you need something to help clean up a cut, your teacher will have that in the bag to help you out. You will not need to go to the nurse for those things. That's right. But if you are feeling um, like you have a fever, or if you have a cough, or if you are feeling a shortness of breath, all of those are going to be symptoms you will want to go see the nurse about. Mm -hmm. Also, remember, so Hollydale Heroes, remember, if you are showing any symptoms, um, such as the ones we're going to go over, please remember you need to stay home. Let your parents know that you have any of these symptoms and they'll make sure that you are at home and, and getting the proper care that you need there. So let's go over some of those symptoms. If you're exhibiting any of these, um, then you, need to, you do need to stay home um, and we won't be able to have you at school that day. So let's see what those are. Um, if you have a fever, a cough, Shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, loss of taste or smell, a sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, you can feel sick to your stomach, or diarrhea. Any of those signs could mean that you need to stay home um, for, for that school day or maybe even longer. So if you do have any of those symptoms, you do need to um, stay home and not enter the school building. Um, we will have Ms. Um, Rodriguez here at the front who can also assist you in the mornings if you start to feel those things before coming to school. You can also let her know and we'll contact your parents so they can come pick you up. Thank you so much, Ms. Jones and Mrs. Barber. Uh, so boys and girls, just to recap, we are gonna do our part. Everyone can do their own part in making sure that we stay healthy and we help others stay healthy. So if we have a fever or if we have a sore throat or a headache or a cough or um, our muscles are hurting, we are going to stay home um, and, and not come to school uh, so that we can keep everybody healthy. It's a good idea, boys and girls, to wear a mask. Um, that is required when you come back. Uh, when you first come in the building, that is the very first thing we're gonna look for. Um, wearing a mask is not easy, and, and sometimes it's not fun. 
Uh, but we are all in this together. We're going to help each other through it. Um, and we just really look forward to seeing you again. So um, hopefully you have found this video to be informative, um, meaning you've learned a lot of information about what's going to happen when we come back to school and when to stay home when you're not well. Um, we will continue these videos uh, when we come back. Um, our next video is, is going to be um, what it looks like in the cafeteria when you go through the lunch line and where you'll eat lunch. We'll be watching that on October 5th. I hope you guys have a fabulous break. Please remember we are off every day next week. Uh, do not come to school next week. Don't get on your computer next week. Um, we will see you back October 5th. Have a great day. The time is 8 o'clock. It's time for morning meeting. See you soon.